hey what's up guys uh in this video we are going to see the update for uh, the previous video ionic 2 push right the push notification video so uh as i said ionic cloud angular has gone through several updates in the recent uh, recent time and then they have released a lot of new documents and docs for that as well so the docs are pretty much clear about what to do in order to get push notifications working in your application guys so this video is like just an update to my previous video uh, the previous one which i made uh, like uh, two months back or something about how to implement push notifications in your app right uh, i'm just updating that you could just go through the docs for you know like a better understanding uh, and you could do it pretty much easily so let's get started so first of all uh, the prerequisite is they say cloud client should be installed and configured right or no, rather first we'll start from the beginning First of all, I'll just, you know, start a new uh, Ionic project, maybe. Okay, here you are. Uh, or, uh, Ionic start, start, uh, Ionic to push new. To blank. Okay, then we'll go ahead and install uh, this thing. Okay, this is done. Uh, now we'll go ahead and install. Before we go ahead and install, we need to use the. Okay, run here. Okay, this is done. And then we need to do Ionic IO init, right? Ionic IO init. Okay, this is done. Now, uh, what we need to do is. Uh, before that, you need to have an Ionic.io account, guys. Otherwise, this won't work. So just create an account if you don't have one. And then what else we need to do? We need to import these two into our module, right? So I'll just open this up. Paste it here. And go ahead and copy this. Instead of this app ID, I'll take the app ID from here. Since we gave Ionic IO in it, the app ID would be uh, like uh, written here, written over here. So I'll take this and then uh, paste it here. Okay, this is done and then what else we need to do okay this is done i uh, will close this uh, the second thing is we need to uh, google has slightly modified its, G, its gcm and then it's uh, rebranded it as firebase cloud messaging guys so uh, let's go ahead and create like a, a key sender id and a key there so that we can use, make use of it to send our push notifications so i'll visit firebase console first You need to do this guys because the server key and the ID which I create I'll be removing the, uh, it as soon as uh, this thing is over I mean this video is uploaded so it won't work for you guys I'll just create new project In this, you just click on this gear icon and go to project settings. There, the, uh, go to cloud messaging. Here, you can see the server key and see uh, sender ID, right? Okay, now that we have both, we will see what else we need to do. 
this is that's it. Uh, we have the security profile also. Then we need to install this Cordova plugin, right? So we'll copy this, paste it here, and in this sender ID, you just give our sender ID. The sender ID which we have here. And then uh, we'll move on to the next step, obviously. We'll just take these and paste it here. Okay, and instead of the sender ID, once again, we'll just make use of our sender ID. is done the next thing is uh, we need to go to the app directly and then add our uh, server key right so apps.ionic.io uh, this is here ionic 2 push me. this is the one that i created just now so i'm clicking on this uh, going to settings certificates new security profile Profile name I'll just give as test profile development and then I'll click on create and uh, here I'll just you know edit this choose Android tab uh, in the GCM API key I'll just give this okay. and click on save okay now we have a, a push setup from uh, our app i mean ionic.io ionic uh, cloud account uh, here we are taking care of this the next thing we need to do is go back here and then uh, okay this thing needs to be done in cd component right so we'll get into app.component.es and then paste it here and here I just need to give a public instance for push. So public uh, push. Sorry. And then uh, okay, this is for registering our device tokens, which we saw a similar approach in our uh, previous video as well, if you remember. And then here, okay, this is for handling. We'll just copy paste this too. Okay, our app is now done, I guess. Sending pushes. Okay, we'll just send a push and test if this works fine, guys. So, let me just connect my mobile first. Okay, my mobile is connected. I'll just give it on this click here. ADB devices. Yeah, it's showing. So all I have to do now is I want a platform add Android first add the platform then I'll just give Ionic uh, platform uh, sorry Ionic run Android it will automatically pick up my device and then uh... okay our app opens ah it runs fine guys so uh, let's just you know send a push to this app and see what happens so I'm getting back here and then going to you know this one and clicking on push and then I'll just click on create your first push. First push and then I'll leave this message as it is. Click on continue. Click on continue again. Send this push. See, in our device, we are able to see this, right? Test push get uh, 150 off. So, uh, we could obviously see that our push notification is working fine. And the thing is, uh, since our app is now running, uh, we have written code 
to handle that uh, push notification right we wrote it like this right uh, we wrote it like we wrote it like this right uh, if uh, it is uh, this observable we are just uh, subscribing to it and then uh, printing out in an alert so what if the app is not running so suppose i'll just close this uh, in this case i'll just send a push notification and let's see what happens so uh, i'll just you know, create a new push again and then let uh, let this be the same i'll just click on continue click on continue again send this push see now you can see this right test push guest one with the other push notification which we sent is pushed down to the user's mobile so now you can obviously see how easy this has become with the new uh, ionic cloud uh, library guys so this is how you use ionic cloud library in order to access the services provided through ionic cloud uh, ionic io platform like uh, uh, push uh, deploy uh, authentication uh, and other stuff as well, analytics etc so uh, 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 you might wonder why this guy is showing like uh, he took the documentation and copied the code from there and then followed those steps and uh, i understand guys but the thing is that uh, i promised a lot of guys that when uh, when the new documentation gets released i will make another video uh, updating the old video which i made the old video has been watched like over 3000 times or something like that as of now and then i didn't want to disappoint all those guys uh so rather than just asking them to look at the documentation i made this video so that they can have like uh, take a look at this also uh, and you know like feel that uh, uh, i have given them some info on the updated uh, ionic cloud uh, library as well so yeah guys that's the intent of making this video hope this video help you guys if this help you kindly share it with someone else who is struggling with push notification and try to help them too uh so yeah guys that's it uh, if you like this video kindly hit on the like button uh hit on the thumbs up button uh it will mean a great to me and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more cool stuff like this um as a last note if you are listening to this now i am thinking of buying a camera a uh, canon 70d kindly let me know if that is a good camera in the comments and uh, if not kindly let me know why so yeah guys i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye